Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Today is November 14th here. Uh, that means it's Wix online meeting number 11. If I sound a little funny, it's because I'm still recovering from a cold. Um, just a quick reminder, like always, these meetings are recorded. And they'll be posted up on YouTube for those people that were unable to attend here. Although it looks like we've got a number of new people and some old faces, this is exciting. Um, we've been getting some nice contributions to the Wix tool set, which will actually lead into one of our first items of the agenda. So moving on into the agenda. I uh, want to talk a little bit about Wix 3.8's final days. Rather, Bob will be doing all that. Um, and since that's pretty much what we're doing right now, that's the main agenda item. After that, we can go over some questions and comments, if there are any, like always. Um, and then we'll do triage, which I hope to get through a block of bugs. Um, and, and then hopefully we'll get through it. So. Uh, remember, by the end of this meeting and before the next one for triage, start putting out your numbers for how many bugs you think we get through in triage, because I'm going to make that a recurring theme, because that was fun last time. All right, so I'm going to turn the floor over to Bob so that he can talk about Wix 3.8 final days. Thank you, Rob. Uh, so, yeah, as, as uh, the slide shows, um, we've been, I, I think we're, we're on track. Um, we released the first release candidate on Halloween. Um, however, uh, there are some bugs that are coming in, and bugs that are coming in with contributed fixes, which is incredible, but it puts us in a bit of a dilemma. Um, you know, since we don't have a you know massive testers to uh, go through every little bit of, of Wix, we kind of rely on uh, the the slow down and stop method. It's like if your brakes go out, you know, just kind of eh, let off the gas and you'll coast to a stop and then it's safe. Everything's good. The, the problem when we get last minute bugs and last minute fixes is that we're kind of, you know, we're churning the code. We're making changes that the uh, the, the, the masses of people who use Wix won't have have used. So we kind of that's that's kind of our our core testing strength is that we have you know thousands of people who use Wix and, and use it to build huge setups. Um, the bugs that we're we're talking about now are ones that are either open or on triage, and we'll get into them uh, later in the meeting. Um, but some of them uh, are, well, OK, so without getting too philosophical about, about the, you know, the art and science of releasing software, because we kind of rely on this long train to, to slow down, um, it comes up that the, the, the model we're using is to basically say, look, we're, we're only going to take things that are either really important um, or regressions from, like, uh, previous releases um, or things that are just they're, – they're so bad that we're willing to take the chance that we're, we're going to turn the code and, and introduce regressions. Um, we have a couple of things like that. And therefore, the question comes up, should we take those fixes and push the release out to accommodate the, the, change, that we're, the change that we're introducing, the churn that we're introducing? Uh, Jacob brings up the point, if they existed, if they aren't regressions, push them to 3.9 um, or doc bugs. Doc bugs. Uh, because the dot goes up on the website, a lot of them we can defer. Some of them, if we want to actually fix them in Wix.chum, we do need to take them into um, into the 3.8 branch itself. But that's primarily a, a, uh, a build time thing. So we can verify very easily that, oh, yes, this doc bug was fixed, then the chum looks good. So that's OK. Um, the biggest bug that we're looking at now is the one uh, where using, I don't know, some, some aspect of driver installation causes 
windows to reevaluate the run once key, and that's triggering um, an unfortunate behavior because burn is relying on the run once key to only be processed at reboot. Um, Tobias contributed a fix, and Rob's reviewed it. I reviewed it. Um, I'm willing to take the fix into burn, but it means that we would have to push the release a bit. Um, so the question we're, we're, we're look, looking to get answered is, what do you think? Is this the kind of thing that we should push? Is it important enough to push the Wix 3.8 release? Not a lot. It's a couple of weeks. It means we're going to introduce another release candidate and then do our little bake time thing. And it's, it's like, what, two, two, two and a half, three weeks, something like that. Um, Bias is asking if, yeah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, I'm trying to think, the, the, Burn is all native code, so there's you don't have to worry about about strong name signing. Um, so certainly for your own private use, yes, you could absolutely use your own private build of Burn, uh, Burn.exe, uh, to build your bundles. Um, um, I'm not sure why the sizes would be different, um, uh, though it depends on which versions of Visual Studio you're using. Yeah, I'm so Tobias, to create a private version of your own burn and drop it in probably would be straightforward for this, especially since we're not likely to take additional changes afterwards. Um, the Wix toolset would build uh, burn with Visual Studio 2013 since we always use the latest things to get the latest fixes in the CRT and such like that. So in this case, because you're so late in the process, it probably wouldn't be that hard. Early in the process, you'd be trying to maintain and keep up with any other fixes that went in the burn and stuff like that that makes it harder. So um, anyway, this bug, I think, in general, is just one of the bugs we could talk about. Um, and also just kind of the timing of, of everything. The question was, it seems like Jacob's kind of like, yeah, you know, we don't have any regression, things like that. We could go for you know, stay on track and still release the end of November. Does anybody have any strong opinion, any other strong opinions about December versus November? We're talking, what was it, Bob, two two weeks, three weeks? It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, we talked about releasing on Thanksgiving. Um, instead, we'd have a, a new release candidate, RC2, come out that week. Um, and then we'd give ourselves the three weeks of, of quote-unquote, bake time. Uh, where we try really, really hard not to make any changes. That's really what we're talking about here. Ideally, we have a release, a release candidate of some kind, and then we don't have another uh, another build or any other changes going. Yeah, Tobias brought up the point that we could ship a second burn and things like that, but we don't really want to. Do it. We don't want to add a whole lot more complexity or machinations in the build, especially not one-off, given the way things get signed and stuff like that. We really want to just have the straightforward thing. If you want to create a second build, you can go do that, because you can go build burn yourself, as you've found that you can do that. So um, we're, we're, I think we'll put this on Wix devs, right, Bob, and see if there's any discussion, since we have a yeah, bit of time. yeah. I want to make sure that people who can't um, come to the the online meetings at least hear things. We can't always, you know, uh, it, it's a meritocracy, not a democracy. <laughs> uh, but but I'm certainly looking for feedback. I, it, so I mean, I'll tell you, my my opinion is, I would have, I was hoping to ship in November, um, as close as possible to yesterday's release of official launch of Visual Studio 2013, even though really it happened, you know, back in October. Um, but as long as we we avoid the Christmas holidays, I think, you know, adding another release candidate, it's not a bad thing. Um, and, 
you know, there, there are a couple of bugs that I think are important enough that because we're not looking at a hard date, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm okay with, with taking them. I do want to make clear, just because we're adding a release candidate does not mean that, you know, oh, we have another three weeks of coding to do. Not, not the way we, we maintain quality. Um, every bug has to hit some kind of, you know, high importance, high impact, low risk, um, stuff like that. Uh, Jacob, I'm not sure what you're saying. Maybe adding Bob. <laughs> yeah, I still don't get it. I don't either. <laughs> um, oh, maybe adding oh. an RC. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, basically this... So, if you look at the dates, so November 25th is uh, Monday after next. Basically, it mean we have... The rest of this week, and um, oh, I see what you're asking, Jacob. I, I we have not decided. I think that pushing to December, adding a, a second RC, is reasonable, given the bugs that we have. Um, but if nobody wants it, nobody wants it, then we'll just go with what we had before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Tobias, you have a fix. Um, it would not be difficult to provide. Yeah, I mean, everyone can access uh, your pull request. So someone who wants to do uh, the same fix, who needs it, can you know, fairly easily do so. Well, we could basically immediately take that fix in the 3.9. Yeah, that's also true. That's true. Yeah, we could do... We could quickly create 3.9 and a 3.9 build that contained all the things that we pushed out of 3.8. I don't know about 3.9 build, but we have a 3.9 branch already. True. All right, so we're, we're kind of tossed out there for people that have, like, really, we're looking for strong opinions, people that don't have opinion. Basically, Bob and I are kind of in the middle um, of where we're at. And I think it's basically, do we take this bug, and then Blair opened a bug or two that he said that we'll cover in triage, and so it'll be those two things, and then we'll look for kind of a vote of, you know, are people interested in taking a, essentially a three-week slip, which would allow us to take these bugs now, slide, do the gentle slide out and then be done in December versus being done in November. That's kind of the, the things we're pondering and Bob and I didn't end up in a place where we're like, oh, definitely we should do X. Yeah, that would have simplified things. It would have simplified things if we had a... Honestly, it came down to, we're getting some really good contributions, which is something I said at the beginning. Um, and we didn't want people to feel like we were we were you know, blowing them off or not giving them opportunities to get their stuff, even though they kind of came in at a very tight window. Um, so we wanted everybody to feel like, you know, yeah, we, we see what you did. We, we could consider doing this. We don't want to go past December. <laughs> we don't want to go into 2014. Um, and and truthfully, we kind of have to stop by the middle of the month because after that, yeah. everyone's on vacation and no one's really looking at the and using the bits, which is yeah. kind of what we need. For. And, and we've gotten good feedback thus far about this release. So in general, it feels like we're okay unless we really want to take this. But it looks like Tobias even voted to take it for November, which means we wouldn't take his fix. So um, that might lean us that a particular way then, because his was one of the bigger changes we were looking at. Yeah, absolutely. And when I say bigger, I do mean like the biggest change we were looking at, all 10 lines of it or whatever it was. Right. <laughs> Although it was pretty things. All right, so we'll discuss triage. Uh, this is where we're at. Move, move on. Uh, does anybody have any additional business? I know a lot of people are going to sit here and think about this and go, how can I have anything to discuss after this? Um, I know Jacob wanted to talk about his self-update thing, and Jacob, I'd really like to move it because I figure this will take us the bulk of time, and um, your vote for 42 bugs this week in triage might not <laughs> happen if we spend more time discussing this. So anyway, but I'd be happy you're wrong. So any other questions, comments, things? that have come up that people want to talk about in the Wix tool set. Um, if this keeps happening and we keep making good de you know, progress on bugs, then you know, we might end up doing our weeks about, or doing our meetings about every other week <clears throat> instead of every week, which you know, would be fine too. Give you guys more time to hang out and do whatever you do instead of hanging out on this meeting with us. Um, but we'll see. All right, so 
we're going to go any other meeting, any other questions comments if not we're going to go jump in the triage at about quarter after which is pretty good um, anything else that's true we could have more design discussions uh, in audio instead I guess we could do that we could that's actually a good idea we could have people could sign up for the weekly meeting to have the discussion about their design thing and they could be a presenter and we could have the open discussions in audio and stuff like that. That actually could be a good thing. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. Well, at this point, this is the end of status. Go home and think about your uh, the RC2 or not. But right now, I guess given the feedback we have right here from the people that were most involved, we might not. Um, and uh, 3.9 is out there, so you can start thinking about 3.9 already. Go look at the bugs that are 3x and think about what you want to bring into 3.9. Um, after that, let's go ahead and uh, call this meeting good, and we'll see you guys in triage. Cheers. <laughs>